So my name is Will Jones. I originally come from Canada. I've lived in the United States for about 20 years now. This is 2021 now. And um, I've been involved in real estate pretty much the entire 20 years that I've been in the United States. And I live in Switzerland now with my wife and daughter. Awesome. And in your words, <coughs> excuse me, in your words, what's, uh, what's the difference between con more conventional brokerage and the stuff that you guys do exchanging and stuff like that? Well, I think it comes down to one word, creativity. It's um, a way to look at getting things done where maybe others think it's not possible. The way that it, that happens is usually by um, viewing a property as currency. So uh, whether that be real property or personal property, you're offering in a car, a fourplex, an office building, an apartment building, rather than waiting to take that to cash and then using that cash to buy whatever you're going on to next. And so I think once you can view everything as being currency, you can make a lot happen. You can buy something larger and smaller. Uh, you can break it into pieces or you can consolidate. And that, that can solve a lot of problems. And then lastly, I would say that you look at uh, the people part of it and the benefits everyone's looking for. And that makes it really fun because um, property doesn't uh, desire or think or plan or have a future. It just is, and, uh, and it's the people that make things happen. So you say benefits to a layman who doesn't, who just sees real estate as what, you know, what we see it in the movies or whatever. There's a person who wants a property and there's a person who wants a lump of money. So what kind of benefits are you talking about? Well, they could be uh, rights, cash flow. They could be um, personal preferences that come from the benefits of ownership. They could be future estate planning um, that, um, I mean, really the possibilities are endless, but it really depends on your perspective of what you want your future to look like. And once you can help someone else um, uh, and understand what they're trying to achieve, maybe you can mesh it into what you're trying to, to do with your future. What's, what is counseling and why is it important and why does it allow you to have better uh, re uh, relationships with your clients? Well, I never liked sales and I think people that get into real estate brokerage in the beginning feel uncomfortable with asking someone to list their property or buy something, uh, you know, go transact and let me make a commission. I don't really like that aspect. What I find interesting is asking someone, what do you want your life to look like in five years? And they may think they have a money goal, um, uh, but they don't. I'll give you one example. Um, I canceled with someone to find out what they wanted their life to look like. And they said $10 million. And I said, okay. So if I, gave you that $10 million in briefcase, you've, you've achieved everything you want. Well, no, I want to stop working and not do this and that. So would you do that with money? Sure. I'd have to invest it though. I said, well, what would you invest it in? Well, something that would allow me to earn about 20 to $25,000 a month. So I said, well, isn't that the goal? Not 10 million is so, isn't your goal around two hundred forty, three hundred thousand dollars a year from from incomes, from income investment, and and uh, or investment income? So, if that's the goal, let's get rid of this ten million dollar thought. It might be worth ten million. It might not. It might be worth more or less. But let's make that the goal. And I think that's counseling. It's listening to what people are really trying to achieve, and. Uh, and uh, what they're trying to make their life look like in the future. All right. Well, like in Blake's class, you know, it's cash is liquid. There are definitely benefits to cash. You can go and trade the Federal Reserve notes for anything you want for beer or whatever. <clears throat> but as but when that's you get... the first thing that you think of is beer is a... <laughs> <laughs> sure or rent or whatever. But um, 
it seems like a lot of people here in, in the exchangers, you know, society or whatever, uh, see cash kind of as a middleman. That's, that's a fair statement. It is, it's just a, a temporary landing place. Ultimately, you have to do something with that cash. Sitting on a sofa of cash doesn't do anything for you. So understanding what it is for you, rent or beer or, or another property that's gonna give you more cash for constant monthly rent and beer would maybe even be better. Yeah, so um, do you feel like uh, you've really made a difference in your clients' lives or people you've helped through real estate? Yeah, I think uh, that's the legacy, right? Is That's the, the feeling that you've made a difference that um, that that you've helped someone achieve a life-changing difference that that they hadn't thought was possible until in maybe another 15 or 20 years and all of a sudden a whole new life has been revealed to them and their families awesome and I'm sure that that's you know those the paychecks or commissions or whatever you call them success fees whatever are nice but that is you know, knowing that someone's better off because of your knowledge, your know-how, you know, that's got to really be special. It is. I mean, I think in life, uh, making a difference is, uh, I, I think, um, something a lot of us would like to do with our lives. And the, the kind of the cliche of a real estate broker is someone with, you know, greased back hair and who's kind of, you know, and it's not this, you know? Um, yeah, maybe that was an old view. I mean, I certainly don't view that anymore. Uh, I think in any profession, whether it's well regarded or not, you're looking for someone who cares, for someone who's trying to view the big picture, being a fiduciary for the client to really help them achieve objectives, uh, putting yourself in their shoes and, uh, and creating uh, that vision so it's a reality. How long have you been doing exchanging? Has it been the whole 20 years you've been doing real estate or was it? Um, yes, I mean, not always uh, as focused or times where maybe I was working more on a project, a development, a business, uh, but I've always considered myself as having a creative approach, not taking an, a, um, an original no for an answer, trying to, trying to find a way to make things happen. So for that reason, I would consider myself always an exchanger because I think it's just create creativity in the industry. Is real estate an art form? It is. To, to a broker who's watching this for the first time or a client or an investor, whoever you want to address, you know, sell it to them. What, what, why is it worth it? And obviously they're already watching this video. So if let's just say they are, so they're, already looking for ways to expand their career. They're probably a little open to it, but what, you know, why is it important? Why is this important to the economy? You know, and what, what benefits would a broker have coming here? Well, I think everyone more or less needs to have a profession or a purpose. And if you're in business, I, I personally feel enriched to have a purpose that serves not just me and my family and my own, you know, carnal interests and needs, or but there there is a way to um, to be creative. There is a way to make a difference for others. There is a way to help them transform their estate planning through while they're alive, so that they enjoy cash flow, and make a difference for their families and their children, and. Um, as we talked about earlier, I think that's enriching. All right, and this is kind of a, that I just ask everyone this for the last question. Do you like your job? I love it, it's a way of life.